Hey everybody, this is the chapter two quiz access uh, number 10, uh, which has been given a few people, uh, I don't know, bad dreams or something. It's, it's kind of hard. So let's take a look at it. So all we're doing is we're analyzing the effect of posting errors. So we're saying, okay, well, if I did this, what would, what would be the effect? Um, and especially this idea of like, understated and overstated is confusing. And so um, so I'll just try to walk you through a few of these and see if it helps. So to give us our example, a $2,740 debit to rent expense is actually posted as a 2470 debit, right? So the difference between those two is $270. And so um, it would say, well, which, which column has a, has the larger total. So if we if we posted 2470 as a rent expense, I think that they want us to assume that we correct we correctly posted uh, the credit portion of that entry. Although I don't think that that's really. Let's see. Enter the amount of the difference between the columns due to the error. Identify the trial balance column with the larger amount if they are not equal. In column three, identify the accounts affected by the area. Or column four, indicate the amount by which the account is uh, under or overstated. All right, so yeah, so that's not super clear. Um, so that's part of the reason this is kind of confusing. And so the idea is if we did, you know, probably if, if we got paid, um, if we paid our rent expense, right, we would probably debit rent expense and credit cash. And so I think they want us to assume that the, if we did an incorrect debit entry that we did the credit entry correctly. So we would say, oh, okay. So if I put 2470 in the debit column, or I debited 2470, but I credited the, the cash to 2740, then my credit column would be the larger of the two. It would be too big. Um, so our rent expense account is incorrectly stated because it should be 2740, but we put 2470. And then we would say our rent is understated, meaning it is less than what it should be. Okay, so it's a little confusing. Let's just talk through uh, the others here and um, we'll see if we can work it out. So a $5,480 credit to cash is posted twice as two credits. So if we should have probably debited something else, right, instead of posting two credits. So there's going to be a difference between the columns of $5,480. And then our credit column is going to be too big, right? Because we posted them both to the credit. Um, and which account is going to be incorrect? It's going to be our cash account because we posted them both to cash. Um, and then we're going to say our cash uh, is going to be understated by $5,480. And the reason it's understated is because cash is an asset. So crediting the account reduces it. And so whatever the entry was supposed to be, we were supposed to debit another account, but we credited cash twice. So our cash is going to show low by $5,480. All right, let's take a look at the third one. So let's see, a $10,960 debit to the dividends account is accidentally debited to common stock, okay? So in this case, um, we were supposed to have a debit entry and we made a debit entry, so there won't be any difference to the columns, okay? So this is we're gonna leave blank. And so these are the worst errors actually because they're harder to notice because the balances of your columns will still be there. You just debited it to the wrong account, but you still did a debit entry. Um, but we do know that our both our common stock account and our dividends account are going to be incorrectly stated because we didn't do the dividend entry and we did make an incorrect entry to do uh, to common stock. So, so then we'll say our common stock, uh, so by debiting common stock, which is an equity account, we've lowered the common stock account. So it's too low. So we're gonna say the common stock account is understated 
by 10,960. And dividends is understated by 10,960 because of this error. And I'll tell you, this is more confusing when it's put into a word problem like this. In real life, it's usually pretty easy to see those errors. Not always. Sometimes you have to really dig them out. But, and then just go correct them. So I think talking through it is actually a little more confusing than a real life scenario. But a lot of that's true uh, with, with accounting. All right, D, $2,590 debit to prepaid insurance is posted as a debit insurance expense. All right, so again, we debit and we debit. So because we were supposed to have a debit, there won't be any sort of difference between the debit and credit columns. Whoops, so there's gonna be no column with a larger total, okay? And so which accounts are gonna be wrong? Well, both of them are gonna be wrong, right? The prepaid insurance account that wasn't supposed to, uh, that was supposed to get debited and the insurance expense account that wasn't supposed to get a debit. And then we'll say our prepaid insurance, um, since it was supposed to get debited but didn't, we're going to say it's understated, meaning less than it should be. And our insurance expense that wasn't supposed to get debited but was is going to be overstated because we did a debit in it that it shouldn't, so it's going to be higher than it should be. Interest expense is overstated by 2,590. All right, number E, or letter E, I guess it's a letter. Uh, we have $47,950 debit to machinery is posted as a debit to accounts payable. All right, so again, when we're supposed to have a debit and we do do a debit, there won't be any difference. And neither account, or well, neither side, debit or credit, will be larger. But also, as you've seen before, both accounts will be incorrect. So we're gonna say both our machinery account and our accounts payable account are incorrect. And then because we debited accounts payable, well, let's start with machinery. So we were supposed to debit machinery, which is an asset which would have increased it. So since we didn't do that, okay, we're gonna say our machinery is understated meaning it's less than what it should be. We were supposed to increase it and we didn't. So machinery is understated by 47,950. And then accounts payable, which is a liability. Um, it wasn't supposed to get debited, but it did. And since a, li a liability is decreased with a debit, so we're gonna say that our accounts payable was actually reduced when it shouldn't have been. So it's also understated. All right, F. So now we have 6,380 credit to service revenue is posted uh, as 638 in credit. So we just forgot the zero, right? That happens a lot in real life. And so we have to find the difference between those two because that's gonna be the amount of our error, right? So 6,380, bring out my calculator. 6,380 minus 638 is $5,742. So we're gonna have an error in the amount of $5,742. Um, we uh, were supposed to credit the account 6,380, but we only credited 638. Again, it wants us to assume, this is confusing to me, that the debit was correct. So the debit, whatever account got debited, was the full 6,380 was debited. So that means that our debit account is going to have, remember it's asking what has the larger total. So that's going to have the larger total, the debit account. Um, and then what account is incorrect? It's the service revenue account. And then we're going to say, well, it was supposed to have be 6,380, but it was only 6, 000, or 638. So that means it's less than what it should be. So it's understated. So we're going to say service revenue is understated by 5,742. 
Okay, last one. So we have a $1,780 debit to store supplies and it's not posted. Um, again, I think this is a little con confusing. Um, no, I don't like that error. I'm just gonna try to finish it. Um, because again, it wants us to assume that the credit was correctly posted. Um, and so, so uh, since we didn't, so the difference is gonna be the amount of the entry. Oh boy, I think this is gonna die on me and I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I maybe won't do the re redo the whole thing. You'll get all but the last one. Let's see what happens if I hit okay. Maybe it will work. Okay, it looks like it's working. So again, so it's, it's asking us to assume that, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's asking us to assume that we didn't post this debit, but that we did correctly post the credit side of the transaction, which I think, again, makes it a little confusing. Um, I've said that several times, so hopefully you believe me at this point. Um, so if we did post the credit of 1780, but didn't post the debit, then our credit side is going to be too big or bigger. It's going to have a larger total. The error is going to be the store supplies account. And then because we didn't debit store supplies, which is an asset, right? Um, it means we didn't increase the asset when we should have. So it's going to be understated. All right, let's see if it will let me check my work after those weird little errors. Nope. Oh, it's not letting me do that. But I promise you those are right. So uh, anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. <laughs> and because it just closed out, you may have to like roll back on the video and pause to see what I did there. And your numbers will be different. So you'll still have to work through it. Anyway, so I hope that was helpful to you. Um, and as always, uh, don't be afraid to reach out if you have additional questions.